it's Felicity, one of your actors at Pit Lock Crew Festival Theatre. Um, I'm going to talk to you a bit more about the piano today, this time about the keyboard and how you find your way around and know what the notes are. So here we have the piano's keyboard. And you might remember from the first video that these keys really are just long levers. So you press one down and it activates a hammer mechanism at the back, which hits a string, causes it to vibrate, and that's what makes the sound. So your job as the pianist is to play the right notes on this keyboard here to move the right levers to make the sound that you want to make. So let's have a little think about how you navigate around these keys. Now, the first thing you'll notice is you've got white notes and black notes. There's 88 notes in total, 52 of them are white and 36 are black. And you might also notice that there are clusters of notes up and down the piano that look the same. So you can see in the middle, you've got two black notes here and then you've got three and then two and then three. And that pattern repeats all the way up and down, twos and threes. And it also repeats all the way going down the piano. Now at the very bottom, you might notice there's one black note that sat all by itself. And the only reason for that is because the piano stops, you run out of space. So otherwise that would be another cluster of three, but the piano stops there, that's the lowest note. So it's just one black note on its own. So let's think first about the white notes on the piano. Now, all of these white notes are given a letter of the alphabet. There are seven letters that we use, A to G. So A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. And when you're first learning the piano, the first note you'll probably learn to find is middle C. Now, it's called middle C because it's the C that's in the very middle of the piano. And the way you find middle C is you look for the cluster of black notes that's in the very center of the piano. You're looking for two black notes. So that's these two here. And then the C is the white note that's just at the very bottom to the left of those two notes. So this one here. So that's middle C. But anywhere on the piano that you see two black notes, the white note at the bottom is also a C. So if we look at these two black notes here, this is a C, these two black notes here. We've got another C and we look for one lower down. That's a C. So what you might be able to hear is that those notes are all the same, except for they're higher or lower, but they're the same note. That's why they're all called Cs. So if we look at these Cs up and down the piano, you can hear that they sound similar, except they're higher or lower. And if you look in between one C to the next C, if we start at this first C and call it number one, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the next C is eight, is the eighth note in that sequence. And that's the same carrying on up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So always it goes, there's eight notes in the sequence and we call that an octave. So one C to the next C. That's an octave. The reason it's called an octave, oct, means eight. If you think about an octagon, that's got eight sides. So octave just means eight notes. And if we go up, if you remember, I said that all of the white notes are given a letter from A to G. So if we start on C, the letters keep going up. So we've got C, D, E, F, G. Now they go A to G, so we've got to start again at A here. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and that carries on all the way up the piano and all the way down the piano as well. These are called your natural notes, A to G, all the white notes. But let's have a think about these black notes. What do they do? So they give you all of the sounds that are in between those natural notes. So they allow you to play more sounds. So if we have a little think, if we go back to middle C, we've got our C here. The next white note is a D, but this black note in the middle, you might be able to hear that it's slightly higher than the C, but slightly lower than the D. Let's hear those in order. So it allows you to play a note that is halfway in between these two notes. If there's a tone between the C and the D, this one here is a semitone, it's half of that sound. 
So these black notes allow you to play more sounds. And we call them sharps or flats, and their names are in relation to the white notes that they sit next to. So sharp means slightly higher and to the right. So if we start with our C again, C sharp is the black note that's slightly higher and to the right. So we've got C here, and then C sharp slightly higher to the right. We've got our D. So D sharp slightly higher and to the right is this one here. The other name that you could call them is a flat, and flat means slightly lower and to the left. So we've got our A, for example, here. A flat, slightly lower and to the left, would be this one here. G flat, slightly lower and to the left, is this one here. And you might notice, let's take this note, for example, that this note could have two different names. So it could be an A flat, or it could be a G sharp. So the same black notes can have two different names depending on the piece that you're playing. But there you go, that is an introduction to all of the different keys. Have a go, see if you can find the names of some of them yourself.